Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Super 7 TMNT Ultimates figure. Today, we're going to be checking out one of their newer-ish figures, one that I've had my eye on for quite some time, and it's definitely one of my favorite oldies from the depths of space. We have the one, the only, Space Cadet Raph, and yes, it does have that slipcase cover of which yank it off, and you can see... Good old Space Cadet Raph inside the packaging on the back side of the box. You can check out the Zero Gravity Good Guy. I always like the alliterations, but you can read up on him if you so choose. And mine came in from Entertainment Earth. And usually I do the whole spiel. I tell you, hey, go and check out Entertainment Earth. Yes, I have links down below. But I want to talk to you about New York Comic Con, which starts October 17th. Through the 20th, I'm going to be teaming up with Entertainment Earth while I cover the show from the con floor, so stay tuned for all the latest and greatest, but it would behoove you to maybe check out my videos this week so you can learn how to grab a really cool gift card from Entertainment Earth, but more on that as we get closer to New York Comic Con. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Space Cadet Raphael from the Super 7 TMNT Ultimates line. And while I got all you space cadets here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we got old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So now here is everything out of the packaging. You got plenty of accessories. It is going to be at that $55 price point. We all know Super 7 by now, but that's not why you're here. You're here to see a cool Space Cadet Ninja Turtle with all his extra hands. He has trigger hands and outstretched space exploring hands, punchy hands, the woiks. But my favorite, or we'll say one of my favorite accessories, is the reborn old school zapper pistol. I've already put the hand on there, and it has the removable hose which is very flexible, so for that, I am very appreciative. And, just like the old figure, it simply pegs in, like so, gun in hand, and boom, there you go. Space Cadet Raphael is reborn, and you can put the helmet on him. You can put the space sword. It is pretty much the exact duplicates of the old school figure, now in Ultimates 4. But, one thing I want to point out with the zapper and the cord, I wish that it had some more red accents, just like the other weapons, of which you can clearly see his space sword has a red handle. Whether or not that's supposed to be a laser kind of dealio or it's just accents, because you have these really cool lightsaber psi, and I love what they did here. I really wish that these were removable, and then I wish that they could peg in somewhere on Space Cadet Raph's belt. I think that that would have been kind of cool. It's like a little lightsaber. Of course, he could pull them out, swing, that kind of thing. But the red is really cool. It even has little hooks on the bottom. Somewhere it could have fit on this figure. Drives me nuts. That would have been awesome. And then you have this really cool, it's essentially a trapper keeper for your pizza, but it's a silvery foil pizza protector. And you have a zipper sculpted on. You got a pizza decal on the front. And it's just really cool. Although, again, I really wish this would have opened and there was a pizza slice in there because that would have just made it an extra awesome essential piece. But then you have this really cool dome. And my old figure, as you'll soon see, doesn't have his dome anymore. But it's a beautiful recreation along with the space alien. For those of you who don't remember, there was a space alien that was sculpted to a space cadet Raph. He has a little bit of head rotation. But again, to point out... It's just a slug of a figure overall, but his head moves. Fine, that's cool. The original figure, he was sculpted in. Didn't move, didn't do anything. It was a nice little Easter egg. All you can really do is hold this little alien guy, which is fine, but how cool would that have been if you could somehow fix it to this Raphael? Maybe put it on his back. Maybe have it envelop him in tentacles. That would have been kind of cool. But you also get this really gnarly looking it's essentially a Stormtrooper TMNT helmet, which could be a bit of a callback to the proposed TMNT Star Wars line that never came out during the Playmates 
era. This one you're going to have to heat up. This one was very difficult to get onto the ball peg. It does sit a little bit high. That's so you can still articulate it. So you get plenty of the same articulation as the normal standard head. And if you'd like, yes, you can put the dome on with this particular head portrait. So overall, it's very cool. I'm glad they included it, but it's kind of a pain to install. And then of course, you also get his visor and his little intercom system. This one is also kind of troublesome. You're gonna have to heat it up. It's entirely too small as it is to fit over his head unless you heat it up. Once you get it on his head, keep it on for a little bit. It'll kind of stretch out a little bit and it should form fit. It's still a little bit too small in the back. It kind of has some hooks underneath that'll help it latch onto his face. But in terms of the actual floating Raphael here, I love that just the standard head portrait has the skull cap with his red mask. And you do get a lot of articulation out of the head, which is nice. But I like that that extra piece, the visor, and of course the little intercom system was a separate piece that you could take on, take off. I like that. It's just options. I like options with my TMNT Ultimates. The rest of his spacesuit, it's beautifully recreated from the old Playmates while adding just a little extra. That's always a welcomed little tidbit. I like that these are no longer stickers. These are printed on. You've got the RAF G-string going on. He's got his knee pads, the thrusters of which that would be kind of cool to have some thruster blast effects, something to put on his little ankles. You got the stitching of the turtle shell in the back. You have his backpack, the wires, his arms. This is a nice little upgrade. This is what I like to see with TMNT Ultimates. It's a little bit of a communicator. And if you look closely, you have Professor Honeycutt, AKA the Fugitoid on screen right there. So maybe, maybe, maybe not anymore. But hey, that would have been nice to get a Fugitoid in the TMNT Ultimates line. And with the rest of the spacesuit, I'll honestly be able to tell you, it's painted beautifully. There really is little to no hiccups with this guy. He's got peg holes and little treads on the bottom of his feet so he can go space walking on the moon. The arms, that's where you're gonna run into very minimal articulation. If anything, I cannot get them out possibly because of the sculpt knocking into the shoulders right there. He has very limited single jointed elbows. They will spin at the elbow, but it looks like there'd be nothing there. It's kind of well hidden, but also kind of a bummer when you want to get the arms going a little bit better when holding all the accessories and the weapons and the hands, they're not loose. They're just looking like they're gonna fall out every two seconds. Usually you kind of have to push them in a little bit more. It's already in, that's as far as it kind of goes, it gets a little gappy there. There's nothing at the waist. It's because of a spacesuit, right? You get that. Then you got the legs that'll kick all the way out. You have single jointed knees. The knees will spin, of course. The feet are well done. They'll go up and down, left and right. There's nothing loose on this figure. That's always a plus when we talk about Super 7 TMNT Ultimates. And to show you a comparison of my original yellowed Space Cadet Raphael, Yes, they have beautifully recreated it, and I have beautifully recreated it, missing the dome and all his weapons at this point, but I love it. This was always a very cool favorite of mine growing up playing with these as a kid, even to show you on the backside. Now that the green alien is his own slug of a figure, that's cool as well. I love seeing all the little details brought to life now. That's a lot of fun of these TMNT Ultimates. And then to show you with the Sewer Samurai Leonardo with this Raphael in space, they go together great. And these will always be two of my favorite iterations, the variances of the Ninja Turtles from Playmates to Super 7 now. Yeah, I think Super 7 did an excellent job with this Space Cadet Raph. So, that is gonna wrap it up for my quick look at the, well, fairly brand new-ish, Super 7 TMNT Ultimates Space Cadet Raphael. There's a lot of great pieces here. There's a couple nitpicks, which I pointed out. Some of the weapons, you gotta heat them up. That's not really a nitpick, it's just something you have to do. But little elements here and there, I would have liked that they've changed, maybe add a little more to the whole green creature guy, but overall, to see the fun of the old figure now reborn, that's the best aspects of this character, of this figure, and I think they did a great job. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT Ultimates, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. Like I said, New York Comic Con coverage coming up. 
and we'll actually have some more TMNT Ultimates to look at. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.